Hey guys, Ray from Love the RV and Boat. And I got a project today. I'm going to install some more sunshades for the boat. You can see the, the big front windows have a shade material on them. The previous owner had done that. And it's done with the metal snaps on the on them. They pop off. You can see like that. So these were actually sewn pretty cool uh, custom shade material, but I'm not going to go that route. First of all, it can get quite expensive having someone sew you up some custom shade material. But I got a lot of other windows I'd like to cover. You can see these big uh, cabin windows here. And go right through. And we also have lower cabin windows for the bedroom and then some back windows. You can see the windows have been replaced on this boat. They had nice aluminum windows installed at some point. There's a few of the old teak windows left. So I just want to be able to cover those windows when I want to and have them not covered when I want to. So I need some material that can snap on and snap off and uh, I'm gonna go with the easy snap just like I did with the RV uh, if you watch my channel in the past you've seen me install those on the RV window especially in the summer they're very handy to keep the RV cool so originally the co I kind of did a deal with the company and they sent out some free product and I installed it but I actually did go back and buy with my own money a bunch more shades and installed them a few years later just to to pretty well do all the windows in the RV. Um, also bought their skirting material. Uh, they have the Easy Snap skirting as well. And I, I bought that in the summer or the winter that we had to stay in, in Canada during COVID, the border closed. So skirted the RV and that worked really well. So I'll link back to those videos if you wanna watch those. But this time we're gonna do the boat windows. Um, actually the Easy Snap company had contacted me last year sometime and wanted to know if I wanted to do a, another video, maybe an instructional video for them. And I told them that I was getting a boat. And the guy goes, oh, that's great. We do yachts and boats as well. So they sent me out this uh, material. So upfront disclaimer, it was no charge for the material. Uh, they're not paying me for this video or anything, but I did get this product for free. So I'm going to go through and show you how to install them and we'll give you a shot of it all installed. I went with the white and the white matches pretty close to what's on the front there. So hoping it'll it'll be a nice match. Like I say, it's very easy to install. Basically, you uh, mark out, uh, measure your windows and then you trace out the window on this material. I give you all the utensils to do it. Uh, there's a pen in there. This one's a black pen so I can trace it out um, and also here's the snaps so basically what these do is they have 3m on the back you peel it off and you stick it in different spots on the windows they advise about every 10 inches at least as a, as a minimum um, you can go closer if you have a, a much larger window or it's going to be in super windy environments but I'm gonna go roughly about every 10 inches. It seemed to work well on the RV. The first window I did, I, I, I thought I'd be in windy environments. So I put it every six inches and man, I had a lot of snaps on that window. and Found out I didn't need them all. So when I did the next, next windows, I went a lot, spaced them out a lot further apart and that worked out well. <clears throat> so those go on. And then there's a, a kind of a pin that goes through that material. And this uh, goes on top of that and becomes a plastic snap. So very easy to do. Instructions here on how to do all that. And the measuring tape, not many tools required, just scissors, measuring tape, straight edge, that sort of thing. So we'll get to it and I'll go through as I go through the windows and show you, show you how I do it. Comes in a big roll. You go to their website and they actually have a calculator so you give them all your window dimensions and then they email you back the kit that you would need, how many snaps you would need and uh, how much uh, feet or meters of, uh, of the material you need. comes in, a, I think it's about a six foot roll. So you want to lay it out and try to use the material the best you can when you're cutting up the windows. 
Most of mine are square, but these do have an odd shape. You can see they kind of slant, slant out both ways, these bottom ones. And then over here, these slant down to the back. So when I was doing the measurements, I made sure I'd have enough, enough material to, to cut that out. You basically want to overlap it. You don't want to stick it on the frame. I think I read in some cases you can stick it onto the window itself, but the best way to do is go past the frame and they want it to be a smooth sur surface so that that 3M tape can stick. Um, if it's not, you may have to go to a screw-in stud, but kind of lucky on the boat, it's got this nice shiny smooth material so it should stick quite well around these windows. As far as the teak, I'll go past the teak and go on the other side and put them around. So let's get to it. So I'm going to do the biggest windows first, the two side cabin windows. What I've done is I washed them with soap and water, cleaned the surface really well on the outside, and then further cleaned it with this uh, isopropyl alcohol I say to use a 70% mix, not 99 or something. You want a little bit of water in it, I guess, for best cleaning. And I've gone around, measured it twice, and I've gone around. I've, what I did is I took a ruler and just marked a piece of tape at the 10 inch mark so I could keep my stud locations within the 10 inch. And then they give you this little uh, chart here. I just what I do is go up to the window like that so I can keep my studs roughly the, the same distance away from the sill. And then the final step will be to go around with this little 3M primer. You just crush that and there's, it wicks up to here and then you just do the, the locations of the studs which I've marked out in pencil. Let me show you. I've gone around and just traced using that piece of paper they gave me circles where the studs are going to be. So then I can just prime them and then peel and stick. This just simply peels off the back like so. snaps onto the studs and then hung the material sort of left a little bit extra material just so that I can get a nice straight cut on my final cut I'm gonna have to do a slanty thing here but I thought I'd get it on the window get the studs in place so these you want to push them right down push them through. They pop through the material very easily but you want to make sure they're right at the bottom because when the when the cap goes on it has to go right to the bottom to lock properly. Just like so. There we go. So that's locked on now and it'll stay on and then when you want to take it off there's a tool to get in behind there and pop the snap off. There we go, that's applying the studs. First I just clean the surface, soap and water, 
then I cleaned it with 70% uh, isopropyl alcohol and then you saw I went around with the little uh, template here and with a pencil just drew circles around and kept everything uh, within 10 inches between the studs or the yeah the studs and uh, then I went around with this little primer pencil you break it and it, and it wicks up into that felt and then you can just do the inside of the circle with that and then they want you to let that dry about five minutes before you peel off the back end of these and then you stick them on and it says to apply about 15 pounds of pressure so basically they just want you to push really hard on them so that not just part of it is hitting the surface you want the whole thing to to get to the surface then they have the bonding time within 20 minutes 50 percent bond 60 minutes 75 24 hours 90 percent three days 100 <clears throat> percent at room temperature so they say you want to apply these at a minimum of 60 degrees fahrenheit um, 70 or better is is ideal so i'll come back tomorrow and we'll put the pins on and the material and the caps and then this window will be all finished so here we are these are little caps that just press in place So to remove the screen, they send you this tool. It also has a little razor blade in here that you can use to cut the fabric. But it has this uh, little flat end, kind of a dipped end. It's ideal for getting in between the stud and the snap. And you just twist, it goes off like that. You just use like the right size screwdriver too. And push it back on. So if you want to take off your windows, you just quickly Go like that to every uh, snap, pull it off, and then you can roll it up quite nicely. If you need to get these off, um, there is a little clip in here you can push, and then you can also carefully take them off. But keep in mind every time you take that off, it's kind of weakening the plastic. It's kind of a one-shot deal, but you can get to replacement uh, studs and pins and, and snaps on there caps on their uh, website okay so we're about 95 percent completed here on this uh, shade project i still have to do a bit of fine tuning as far as how much i want to cut around the edges um, i'll just leave it be for now it's kind of hard to make cuts accurate on the boat and everything so I might wait till I'm somewhere where I can take them off and do it on land. Anyway you can see the, the two windows there look very nice. Along the bottom here that's my aft cabin bedroom. Let's walk along starboard side here. There's that window. And then this is the ones that came with the boat. So the color match is actually pretty good. I'm happy with that because white sometimes one looks white and one's not white but they look pretty good. I'll give you a look from the dinghy so you can see it from afar but I just wanted to show you more of the close-up stuff. So this side has two windows in the main cabin. And then back around to the other bedroom window in the aft cabin. Yeah, I'm super happy with those and they come on and off easy. You just unclip them with that little tool and they're very light and you can just roll them up and put them away when you're not using them. So 
have to pull the dinghy off the boat and give you some footage from around the boat. Oh. From the inside, these are the original screens that have been on the front. Open door, no screen. And then this is the new white screen. It's a little finer mesh, so I find it's a little harder to see out. And then there's a clear window, just for a comparison. And you can see we have screens for bug screens on there as well, so it kind of looks even thicker where it uh, goes through. Here's the put away size of all those shades rolled up. So, not much space at all. Maybe like five pounds. Well, there you go. There's the installation. I hope you found that uh, helpful. If you're interested in the shades to see what they're all about, or if you're about to uh, let them and install them. Maybe there's some tips there and kind of go through how to do it and what they look like as far as finished products. I'll just link to their website if you, you want to check them out, more information about them. Like I say, they have boat and RV shades and also RV skirting. So I'll also link to previous uh, videos on my website. There's where I did the, the winter skirting. I have several videos about that. And then a couple of times I've installed their their shades on my RV. And first I did the back window and then later on I went and did more windows on there. So um till next time. Ray from Love Your RV and Boat. Thanks for watching folks.